So I went out training this morning up here in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and I uh, just got back, had a shower, had a big breakfast. And I was talking to a receptionist at the hotel, and she's like, oh, you, you and Freely, you're so slim, you look so good, you're so fit, but you eat so many carbohydrates. Doesn't that make you fat? And I'm like, well, look at us. And <laughs> if carbohydrates made you fat, I'd be freaking obese, man. People say, oh, you exercise a lot. It's like, yeah, exercise is good. Exercise is part of the equation. But if you're not eating properly, you're not going to have the motivation or the energy to exercise. Carbohydrates is your fuel. That's your kindling to burn your fat stores. All these people out there saying you need to eat fat to have better endurance or some bullshit. It's like, you just wouldn't have a freaking clue. Come out training or lift up your shirt and show us your flabby gut. You know what I mean? It's insane. Fat people telling fat people how to get slim. It should be slim people telling fat people how to get slim without drugs, without gastric bypass or without starvation diets. I mean, it's not that you get to eat so much in this lifestyle, it's that you have to eat so much, you know what I mean? If you don't, if you don't eat pounded in, you won't have enough fuel to really pound life in. Otherwise you'll be like, oh, I don't know about today, you know? So anyway, getting back to the receptionist of the hotel, so she said, I want to lose a few pounds, Harley. I'm like, yeah, you could probably drop 30 kilos quite easily. And uh, check out these bananas. Love Thailand. So she said I could drop, you know, some pounds. Like, yeah, about 30 kilos. And she goes, well, yeah, but I don't exercise like you. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. You know, you don't exercise like me. Check out these durians. And I'm like, you don't exercise like me. That's right, but you have at least 30 kilo backpack on every hour, every minute, every second of every day. Even when you're sleeping, that weight is pushing into your organs and your body's using energy to try and, you know, preserve them. So, I might be riding my bike up the Doisetep mountain in 35 minutes and uh, I said, but that me riding up the mountain is just the same as you, or more for you, carrying 30 kilos of weight around 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. I only do this mountain once or twice a week, man. So. She's like, that makes sense. I say, so you need more energy than me because you're training more than me. And what happens is when you're overweight, you think, I don't need to eat much, so you eat these little rabbit meals, little mouse meals, and then you get so hungry, you binge out and crap, feel crap, you don't want to exercise, so the weight slaps on, you're eating these high fat calorie diets, it slaps on even more. You're getting hardly any carbohydrates, and you wonder why you're feeling shit and getting fatter. So the solution is, it doesn't matter how fat you are, how thin you are, how Exercise, much exercise you do, you need a shitload of carbohydrates every day. If you've got kids, you need more carbohydrates. If you're fat, you need more carbohydrates. If you want to be active, you need more carbohydrates. You know what I mean? So everyone needs a lot of carbohydrates regardless of their situation. Everyone needs at least 10 grams of carbs per kilo of body weight per day if you want to have a high intensity life. If you don't, if you want to wither away your life fighting into the couch, complaining, being a victim, that's fair enough. Eat less carbs. Eat two, three, four, five grams of carbs per kilo per body weight per day and you'll have that crap life. High energy life, 10 grams plus, slam it down. See you soon. You see this 20 kilo backpack? That's 20 kilos. And uh, <laughs> it's amazing. So I'm 65 kilo, fair's a fiddle. Slap 80 kilo, 20 kilos on me, that's 85 kilos. I still fit as a fiddle, but Definitely notice heavier breathing. Now I can just feel my body chewing through the glycogen. So I couldn't imagine what it must feel like for people who are 85 kilos plus or whatever, just you know, too much for their size, and they're trying to exercise and they're trying to eat low carb, low calorie, low carb, low calorie. Because some idiot. At Weight Watchers or whatever, I said, Oh, you should only eat 1500 calories a day, otherwise, you won't lose weight. I'll tell you what, the only thing you're gonna lose is your sanity. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, putting this backpack on it helps me sort of physically go through what overweight people are going through. And again, the idiot saying, Eat less calories, put less calories in and try and perform like you want to on less calories. It's like asking your car to drive across the country 
on less fuel and go faster. It's insanity. On paper it might look alright, but in the real world it doesn't work. Overweight people just starve themselves, try and exercise, can't maintain it because the body shuts them down. They feel shit, they get hungry, binge on the highest calorie crappy foods they can find, and the cycle starts again. And the weight loss industry says, oh, you poor emotional eater, Overeaters Anonymous, come and try a new program. It's designed for weak people like you, because you're fat and you're hopeless, and we'll treat you like a, a child with behavior issues. You know what I mean? The doctors don't have any solutions, they just want to do gastric bypass. Nutritionists make it so complicated, because they don't even fucking understand themselves. If you can't explain something simply, and logically and heartfelt, you don't understand it. I'm sorry, you don't. It's crazy, you know. Personal trainers just thrash them. You know, I know a lot of personal trainers, they see fat people go, yeah, it's some easy money, I'll thrash them, make them sweat, get a few kilos lost, they'll burn out, they'll quit. Next, you know. So I just had enough of that. So if you all want to weight, drop some weight, you gotta exercise. And if you're the exercise, you've got to eat a shitload of carbohydrates. Over 10 grams per kilo per body weight. 10 grams of carbs per kilo body weight. So if you weigh 100 kilos, it's about 1,000 grams of carbs a day. And if any idiot says that's too much food, tell them to come train with me. You know, with no drugs. You know? Tell them to see if they can get the results like I get for people. That I help people get for themselves. Because that's all I do, I just give information out. It's up to you, the individual, to take care of that information to use it, you know. Because knowledge ain't power. Knowledge is knowledge, you know. Knowledge with action is power. So, carb up, train, train smart, increase your training 10% per week, don't get too carried away, and just do it for the rest of your life. Rest of your life. You gotta eat healthy, you gotta eat high carb, low fat, you're going to be a plant eater, you're a rabbit food muncher, and uh, you're going to love life, man. You'll be eating more food than you ever had, and you'll be dropping weight, feeling fit, lean and strong, because now you're eating quality food. Woo! 85 kilo rider, signing out. Peace.